Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here, and a couple of weekends ago now, I actually recorded a video which was basically called the forgotten swatches of The Sims 4 Creator Sim. They were swatches that a lot of people probably didn't know existed in the game, but the response to that video was so sick. I absolutely love talking about Creator Sim. It's, I feel, the one place of The Sims 4 where I totally just like nerd out. And so I realized that I was getting comments on that video like this is a sick idea for a video thank you so much you literally helped me find so many swatches that I didn't even know existed in my game even though I've had those packs for years could you please do the same video but for the younger age groups so that's what we're gonna be doing today your kiddos are about to have some style I feel like this is also a good video to be filming because obviously we got growing together at the beginning of the year and if you're anything like me and you've been taking it very very slowly you You've actually only just got kids in your family. You're probably not like me though. Oh my goodness. It is a problem, actually. It's a little bit of an issue. Starting off with this very formal little get together blazer. Honestly, I really don't mind the black and white, but I think the other swatches are just like a bit more usable. I feel in the black and white, it sometimes can look a little bit like a uniform. Whereas I absolutely love the brown and the green variant. I know I definitely have a bias towards those colors. And then the these jeans, which kind of are slightly reminiscent of the parenthood jeans that I talked about. These are actually a part of kid stuff. They come in this default like pink swatch. I actually really like using like custom pattern jeans on my proper like kid kid sims. You know those sims that you just look at and you're like your epitome of like a kid who's just like into everything, like chats to anyone. My blueprint for that type of child is Olivia Kim Lewis. And these come in like plain swatches and more colorful ones, but I actually really like the flower ones. However, there's not as many flower ones and I wish that there was, but there's also some like leopard print ones. I'm actually gonna throw shoes into this one. Oh my God, shoes. I can honestly hold my hands up and say I've never used these shoes in my entire life. It was only when I was going through the swatches. I was like, wait, hold up a second. These are actually so, so usable. Yes, they might slightly look like a bowl shoe even though they came and get together instead of bowling stuff but look at these ones they're so flipping cute I absolutely love them I really like the orange ones as well I think in some of the color swatches you can get away with these just looking like regular trainers we have this romantic garden shirt which honestly boring I feel in like every other swatch my preferred swatch is this one right here I don't know why it's the only one that has like these double lines on it I feel like it makes it way more fun as a shirt I feel like it's way more versatile and usable I really like the pop of color I'm gonna talk about the shoes first so I can remove them and then talk about the trousers these are just from seasons they are a bog standard Wellington they are just like in plain swatches this is actually one of my favorite swatches like this bluey teal green but then they do come in some patterns so you have like this two block pattern then you also have spotty ones the straw Stripey ones are one of my go-to. Is it because, excuse me for sounding so Tory, the jewels jumps out. I grew up going on holidays to Wales where so many people wear jewels. It also gives me a little bit of Oshkosh, which I personally wore Oshkosh all the time as a child. You have camo ones, but my favorite are the little shark ones. I absolutely love these so much. And then we have city living for these, which again, I have never ever used used because of the color patterning. I feel like I detest anything that has these like chevron racing stripe tassel bits. I really am not a fan of them. I really don't think they look the best. However, I've never seen these flower ones and I do think they are slightly more usable in the flower pattern than the others, but then they also have plain swatches. So these are kind of more like a jogger, but you can definitely get away with wearing these as like 
everyday wear or even pajamas. This swatch is gorgeous. I love the color combination on this one. Oh, uh, my little kid stuff jumper. Just a bangled average jumper. If you want to look like your grandpa, you can. It also has the adorable little elbow patches, which you all know from the last video that I did. I love when there's a little bit of detailing, especially like on the back that you can't see at first. But this one in particular with like the lines over it, I love the colors. Yes, it's a little bit more neutral. So if you're going for the sad beige baby, there you go. There's a piece for you to use from now on. Again, another city living trouser that I have barely ever paid more than maybe a second to. And that's because like one three quarter length trousers, even though I basically lived in them as a child, like I would not wear anything else. If my mum wanted me to wear a dress, I'd be like, yeah, but I have to wear my three quarter length skater shorts underneath them. That is my compromise. And I will say uh, this pattern is taking me very much back to like 2012, but I really love this rainbow variation. I think these look kind of like a little bit retro. And now that I've found these, especially this one in particular, I'm definitely gonna be using them way more frequently. And of course I had to mention the little Berkies. These are actually super colorful when you first click on them. Their first swatch is this orange and green. They're from Island Living and I really like all the colorful swatches, but there are also plain swatches for your sims as well. The brown ones are my favorite just because they do remind me of Birkenstocks. Now these graphic tees from Kid Stuff. I, when I first got this pack, was like, oh, I actually feel like they're kind of good. I feel like you can show some personality. I have barely used these, I will say. I just think they're so, so bright. Like there's a couple that I feel I could get away with. And I know kids clothing is like bright a lot of the time. My favorite one is actually this skateboarder graphic. I think this graphic is so sick, but you kind of have to scroll through to see it. I think I just wanted to point this one out because I feel like you can get a lot of use out of this. I know we don't have skateboarding in the game, which I so wish we did. Obviously we saw, I think it was free play in the behind the Sims live stream recently. And they had a Sim doing like flat ground tricks on a skateboard. And I was like, why do we not have that in the Sims 4? But it's under this swatch, which is kind of like this graffiti, which again, I think is cool if you have like an artistic sim and you wanna show that off, but I just really, really like the skateboarding swatch. Ignore the cool cat jam. I'm not talking about him right now. I am, however, talking about these shorts right here because I hate the default swatch. I have said it before. I'm not a massive fan of leopard print. I'm not saying get rid of all animal prints. I very much use them when I feel it is appropriate to the sim, but I wouldn't ever like go out of my way to use them as like the default swatch, for example. My favorite of these is definitely this one. It gives me like the 80s retro vibes, but I actually just love these in like the plain colors as well. I think they're very, very usable shorts, especially for like hot weather fits or athletic fits. These shoes, they're in a lime green from the default swatch, which is absolutely not my favorite. These shoes are a little bit weird because there's like this version as well, which only has two swatches. But in some of the colors, I actually really like using these, the pinks in particular, and then these kind of like white and nude ones and the orange and the black. I don't know what it is about city living, but truly the gift that keeps on giving. We have this electric blue swatch as the default. And I really like some of the darker swatches, specifically this black swatch. I think the contrast between like the red and the yellow and orange and then the black looks so, so good. I also really, really like this green one. I hate how I have to keep changing the top to then show off the bottoms. These came with Sulani. They are this swatch from the get-go. Very appealing swatch, very nice, like them. But I do also really love the other patterns that are included. There's also a couple of like ombre effects, but my very favorites are these little stripy ones. I feel for these jeans, it's a travesty that they chose to put red on the default swatch just because like anything red, I don't know why. Usually it's such an eye-catching color, but I like swipe fast it so, so much. The buttons are like quite flat on them. I mean, they get to work. It was the very first expansion pack that we had. I would say clothes 
experience have got so much better since Discover University. However, in the actual like jean swatches, I think these look so good. We are entering our folklore era with this top right here. I'm fairly sure there is a wallpaper in Parenthood that like matches this. This is from the backyard stuff. I never ever use many of these. However, I will say the little like city swatch is kind of cute, especially if maybe your sim has like moved from San Maishuno or is living in San Maishuno and they kind of want to represent where they are from. Also, I just think the Pizza King is so hilarious. I love that this just looks like it was a doodle from a kid or their parent, I guess. And they were like, we need to print this on a shirt like ASAP. But also the jellyfish. I actually think this swatch in particular is so, so sick for a little summer fit. And I wanted to throw the pizza in here because obviously we are getting home chef hustle. We know that we are gonna have homemade pizzas. So if you wanna have your own homemade little pizza party, your kids can now wear your brand. You just send them out into the big city and have them advertise for free. It's better than locking them in the basement and making them paint a load of paintings. They can't even paint in The Sims 4. What am I talking about? I wanted to throw this cats and dog shirts in because again, I think the default swatches are fine. It's just like a little plaid shirt. But I also really like the plain version of this. I also think this is so usable again for maybe your like indoor winter fit. I tend to do an outdoor one on the first winter fit and then on the second one, I'll do more of an indoorsy one or even formal wear and party wear. Get to work, back at it again with the purple and the red. They just loved red, apparently. I use these little jeans all of the time. Get to work has some really solid jeans for your kids if you've never like gone through and check them all out. Another little grandpa jumper, not gonna lie, this does look very similar to the, the one that we discussed. I think they have like a different color blocking situation going on from cats and dogs. I absolutely love this swatch. Some of them are kind of weird and they have like random dog bones on. I feel like that happened so much in cats and dogs. You really didn't need to throw like a cat, a dog, a fish or a bone onto like every single create a sim asset, but I actually really like like this number five swatch. I think it looks sick. It might be because it reminds me of Lightning McQueen. I think it's kind of cool for like your sporty sims. If you have a sporty sim who like doesn't want to dress up that much, but you're like, okay, wear this jumper. It looks like a sports jumper. I love how I barter with my sims kids the way that my mother bartered with me when I was a child. <laughs> Would you believe me if I told you these right here, these little like hippified flower jeans were base game. Have I ever seen them in my life? No, I absolutely have not. If I saw these pair of jeans walking down the street, I wouldn't know a thing. The last nine years, I've been pretending she does not exist. They're these spotty jeans, never use them, ever never ever. I do quite like the green ones. I don't think they're quite as nice as just the denim ones. These are also the ones that have like the paint splotches on them. So I'm kind of shocked that I've never paid attention to these. The belt kind of ruins it for me or like the waistband bit. I'm not a massive fan of that. I wish it was just like denim or just the same flower pattern. But if you have a top that covers it, like you're not going to see that with so many assets within the game. You're just going to see the jeans for what they truly are ugly. Oh my word, I get to gush about one of my favorite jumpers ever. This came with laundry day. I am not a laundry day lover. In fact, I am a hater. However, create a sim build and buy mode. Some of the best that we have received in, especially one of the older stuff packs. My favorite are these little stripey ones. These three swatches right here. Whenever I tend to use these on a kid sim, people are like, where's that jumper from? I love it. It's so cute. These little base game shorts. I stole these shorts and dyed them key lime green. I like that things can be colorful for kids. I like that they can show their personality off. They can show their favorite color off in their fashion. That is A-O-K to me. But I think these are a staple in the brown and the cream. When you wear them, you might look like a Victorian footballer. My only disagreement with these shorts is they don't come in any denims. I feel like the team could so easily add denim swatches onto this pair of 
shorts and they would be a go-to for so many players. Another one of my very favorite jumpers in the game, it's this swatch when it first starts out. Again, I really like it. It came in base game with like the festive update that we got a couple of years ago. But in some of the more colorful swatches, I think you can have so much fun and like play around with this. It also comes in some plainer colors as well. So if you maybe don't want to have those more festive patterns, you don't have to, but I really, really love the patterns and I love the color choices that they used on these. Another pair of base game jeans where I'm just like, Huh. My eyes are, have been opened. I don't know what it is about like the floral prints. Usually I am against like a big statement print. But I think because you can have that playfulness and obviously personality showing through in Creatism. Don't get me wrong. Some of them I feel are hideous. I would not use a lot of these, but I think in the black denim and the blue denim and you could kind of even get away with the white if you wanted to. It's a little bit more out there. I think these are uh, so usable. I think I'm figuring out that I like kids in The Sims 4 to feel like they've dressed themselves, that they have a really distinctive personality. This Strangerville jacket, this is the default swatch. So it's kind of got these like ribbed flowers on the back. This is kind of one of those assets where I wanted to talk about the back of it because I think it's a detail that you will very frequently miss if you don't turn your Sims around. Absolutely love the little detailing on the t-shirt underneath. So this one just had like a stripey one whereas some of them have like this little like sheriff star I guess you could say and then there's also a little like, cactus variant which is obviously one of my favorites. These base game shorts have been one of my go-tos. Like I said that other pair didn't really have many denim swatches which is so unfortunate because I really like the length of them. However these ones do have denim swatches included as well. Yes they have a little bit of a turnover. I don't mind that whatsoever. I think they actually for base game as well, still look really good. I think they've held up the nine years since this has released. This little denim jacket, bless its heart, had no idea that it existed. Loads of like plain swatches, very usable. This one right here, which is kind of like a bleach dyed version with like the black on black and then the like hints of white. I think any kid who rocks this is gonna look so cool. I need to go back to my Max Villarreal townie makeover. If he's not wearing this jacket, I need to put it on him. It screams Max Villarreal. There's also this like brown version. I wish they had gone for maybe a white hoodie or a cream hoodie underneath this. I love a kid who feels like an old soul or who looks like they are dressing like grandpa. This is the perfect Winterfest cardigan. Love the plain swatch is absolutely a door the Christmassy swatches that we have going on. Look at how festive this little guy looks. You'll find this in seasons. They'll start off with like a lot of like the plainer swatches, but then if you actually get into them, they actually like are very seasonal. Hands down, one of my most used assets for kids in The Sims 4 is this like double layer t-shirt that we have right here from Snowy Escape. But my very favorite out of all of them is these Void Critter ones. I think they're so sick. I apply these to like Sims who I know are going to be into Void Critter cards. I grew up wearing like Pokemon merchandise an awful lot. And so the fact that I kind of get to represent that, I wish we had more Void Critter clothing for kids actually in The Sims 4. This is First Kits again. It comes in all of these like plainer swatches, but the last three are some of my very favorites. I love the tie dye. If there's a tie dye option in The Sims 4, you best believe I am going to use it. This one you get spoiled. On. You buy one, you get one free. Snowy Escape comes with this little snowsuit. It actually has matching trousers for a lot of them, but this one is my favorite because it kind of has that retro feel. Again, it feels a little bit 80s, and of course, the matching trousers just fully add to that feeling. This little base game cardigan, one of my absolute go tos, especially in this brown color swatch. I think this is so cute. I think this fits a bunch of different things. 
items as well. You've got those more colorful swatches if you want to. Base game really has some hidden gems for kids. I feel like you can really deck a kid out in like sick fashion, even if you do just have base game. I really love this little rugby polo shirt. I do like the stripe version, but I really like this one that just has the one big stripe along it. Fairly sure this came in a base game update. I love a collarless shirt anyway. I think they are so fun. I think they're a little bit different. I really love these striped versions of it. I think this is just such a cute little color palette. It does come in plain swatches. I kind of wish it had way more of the striped versions because there's only two. And there's also only two of this pattern as well. This top right here is good for PJs. I do actually use it a lot for that. It has this like dinosaur on it, but there are actually other swatches that just come in plain versions. And these are way more usable, I feel, for everyday wear. Again, another one of my favorite base game assets. I always forget to check this one out because I just assume that it's all the cat. I always think it's in cats and dogs for that reason as well. You know, the oversaturation of cats and dogs. But there's a ton of different versions of this. Each swatch actually has a different graphic. So if you never checked it out, definitely do. My favorite in particular is this one. When pigs can fly, it's a little pig being lifted by a ton of butterflies. Tell me that is not one of the cutest graphic tees you have ever seen. I also really like this. This reminds me of something I personally would have worn as a kid. You have some hot air balloons. You also have this watermelon one and you just have a pink stripey one. This little plain base game t-shirt as well. Not like the best, I feel. I feel like it's been overshadowed and like creased and it kind of just looks a little bit weird. But I will say I really like it in this striped version. I use this an awful lot. This is my one piece of advice to you. If you have a base game and you've seen a graphic that you don't like on a t-shirt, go through all of the swatches because every single swatch is different. It's bizarre. I don't know why they chose to do that. This little like plane one, this propeller plane, so cool. I love this bicycle one. It's not a bicycle. What is it? Penny farthing. I love this swatch. It reminds me of like a baseball logo. What baseball team is that? Because it really reminds me of one. Why can I not say Professor Fish? Look how sophisticated this man is. And then this paint swatch one, which I don't like. This hoodie is fine. If you've just working with base game, I actually use this an awful lot when I only had a base game. Quite a few of these are actually cracked. So it looks like it's been passed down from like generation to generation or that like your older sibling has worn it sometimes, which I do think is a cool little detail. But I also think it's just a really nice hoodie in some of the plainer swatches, specifically the blue and and the brown. But it also comes with the bonus of having a matching tracksuit bottom. So you can actually do a two piece of this if you would like. This is usually just classed as a PJ top. I really like the like little hatching dinosaur egg. I think that is such a cute little version and also the sleeping sloth. But if you have a sim who is into sports, there's also this little football version one. Another base game t-shirt that is bringing all the different designs. You can have a cute little bee on it if you want to. There's the sunset one, this little goofy dinosaur, freezer bunny. I really like the audio level ones. I think that's kind of sick. There's also this one, which reminds me of a tube map. I just think they're neat. I think the base game t-shirts actually have some really usable logos. Little vest top right here, also base game. I hate it in every other swatch, minus this little black one. I think it's cute for party wear. I always ignore this. One, we don't have ballet in the Sims 4. Again, I don't know why they keep giving us create sim assets that refer to something that we don't have in the gameplay. Like, if I had a ballet bar or if I could practice ballet in some way, like in front of the mirror, I would absolutely have people wear this way more frequently. However, I do really like this in the plain swatches. Honestly, it kind of has the same silhouette as the one that came with the kids' first fits. Yes, I absolutely will use these dungarees at any given opportunity. 
Beauty. They came with City Living. I really like all of the swatches on this one. I just think they are so cute. It's definitely an asset that you should check out all of the swatches just to feel like what vibes with your Sims the most. My very favorites are these ones that have the little stripes on them. I just think they are so sick. I love all the different color options that they come with. You've even got the monochrome babies covered with these ones. The stripes are the best. This little city living outfit is also absolutely stunning. I love it so much. I love all the little details. I think it fits the Sims really well. I kind of wish these trousers were separated and just their own thing because I think they look really good. But again, my favorite is definitely this swatch, like the sage green. You know I love a sage green. And apparently I really like vertical striped clothing, specifically if it's in the Sims 4 city living. This little pinafore is from Parenthood. My favorite swatches are these little patchwork ones. In my Parenthood Let's Play, I actually recreated an imaginary friend that I had back in The Sims 3, and I had her wear this because I feel like it just seems like so thrown together. It feels like something an imaginary friend from The Sims 3 would wear. It kind of looks like this could be potentially homemade, like your grandma has made it on the sewing machine herself. Not gonna go through all the swatches when it comes to this little waterproof jacket from Seasons. However, this green one, I love her. Same with the Salopettes. Like, you can go through all of these and you can find one that really suits the Sim and their whole personality. However, my favorite is this space themed one. It is so cool. Comes in three different swatches. My favorite is definitely this one though, because it looks kind of glow in the dark. Who doesn't want glow in the dark when they're a kid? You thought I was done with the kids? Uh, think again. I really don't like this from Seasons. Did we get Seasons before Cats and Dogs? Because this feels like they were giving us a hint. I will never really use the Cats one, but I mean, that is your prerogative. I do absolutely love this Wildflower one though. I think this is so cute. I really rarely ever use this, but thanks to me doing this video, I will be using it from this point forward. There's also like little lightning ones and rainbow and cloud ones. Go through the swatches in seasons specifically for the kids. I know Growing Together is so, so recent, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on this one. Tell me that this little dungaree set isn't the epitome of summer though. I don't know what it is, just the color palette. I think the team did so, so well, making that feel so summery. This giraffe get together onesie. I can't believe this came in get together. Another asset where you can really show off your Sims personality. I love the little like Western theme that they have going on. I also really like the space version. And I know I shouldn't even be talking about it. The one pack that I disagree with the most for the Sims 4. And this isn't me promoing it. This isn't me saying go out and buy this stuff back. Don't. Unless you want to kill Sims using the disease, don't do it. But I do absolutely love this little freezer bunny onesie. It looks like a hamster at first. You've probably seen your kid Sims wearing this. I feel like they default to it so, so much. Honestly, if this doesn't scream, I should have been a part of Cats and Dogs. I don't know what will. I feel like I need to start speed running through the toddlers. This little toddler stuff vest top, this ice cream one, hands down one of my favorites, but then I also really liked this stripey number, but this is the only version of it we have. This is the only color swatch. Same goes for this little caterpillar number. Very cute. There's a little lemon one. There's a little sailor one. Pretty usable ones. However, the little sprinkles, adorable. Make your toddler look like a tub of Tic Tacs. I had no idea that this swatch existed on this Jungle Adventure t-shirt. There's a bunch of them, but look at this little Monstera leaf one. I wanted to point out this cottage living jumper just because froggy backpack. The most amazing backpack we ever did see. Whilst you change colors, the animal also changed Changes. So just keep that in mind. If you're choosing this one, obviously you can see the straps on the front so you can kind of tell that the back is gonna have something on it. I always use this Get Famous blazer. I never use it in these default swatches that we see. I never really have a use for these patterns. Like they are very 
out there, I would say. Obviously, it is kind of that celebrity vision of like a kid and dressing them up as like a mini adult. But this one in particular, especially this brown and green one, and then this cream and blue, I use these on my toddlers for like their formal or party wear an awful lot. And I just think it's so cute. Again, growing together, it's pretty new. Don't want to go over it too much. This is the little like duck t-shirt that we have. It comes in a dinosaur version. My favorite though is this little cherry orange. This one in particular, I just think it's so cute. Some of you might be like, that is so creepy. Why are you dressing your kid in that? I absolutely love it. Free shavakadu. How about avoca? No. However, you know I love a frog, so there's a frog version for those of you who want it. I also think this little otter polar bear question mark is cute cute too. These PJs, you've got cars, you got fish, you got horses, but then there's only one swatch of the best swatch, might I add, which is the aliens. There's also matching bottoms for this as well. I also think you can get away with not wearing this as a PJ top and no one would question it. I mean, they're a toddler. They want to be comfy. Moving on to the full body fits. This one is from Toddler Stuff. You can look like a Kermit the Frog if you want to, or you can look like a cute little strawberry if you want to. However, my preferred version of this is this one right here. Sort of matches the top that we saw. However, there's actually two different versions of this one. Again, another toddler stuff dress. It's this little polka dot one, but it also matches the sprinkles. I don't know why we got more sprinkle variants on the dress than we did on the t-shirt. Feels a little bit mean. This dungaree set from Island Living is absolutely one of my go-to when it comes to toddler I just think it looks so cool. I think they look so comfy in it. That's one of the most important things for toddlers within my game, but I love this color pattern. I just think it is so, so sick. I love everything about this asset. You might be put off this cottage living one because of the little foxes. I do think they're cute. You got some little chickens as well and llamas, but there are also plain swatches of these PJs available. I really wish they had created these PJs PJs for every single age group. I would legitimately use them for everyone. I would have the whole family wearing matching pajamas and I hate when families have matching clothes. So that's saying a lot. Not gonna lie, I never ever see the use for these werewolf dungarees. I think like the paws with like the little claws holding it together is cute. Like it's a cute little detail, but I never really want my toddlers dressing up as werewolves unless they are a werewolf and then and you can kind of get away with it a little bit more. However, I will say this version with, even though it has my hated bones on it, I do think it's really cute with the little wolves. Again, I don't ever really see myself using the werewolf onesie for toddlers unless they are a werewolf and have werewolf blood. But I do think these little tie dye and like cosmic ones are kind of cool. A lot of the toddler stuff is just kid stuff sized down. And then a lot of the infant stuff is just toddler stuff sized down. But again, we have the My First Pet Stuff onesie in the Christmas version. Oh my goodness, these base game dungarees. Again, I feel like these look like custom content. I feel like whenever I use them, people are like, where are they from? And it really is annoying that there's only one variant that's like this. I don't know what it is about the vertical stripes. I apparently just really like them on kids and toddlers. But even the little sunflower ones, the top five are just plain. So cycle through to the ones that have little details to give them a little bit more personality. This was one of the assets that made me want to create these types of videos in the first place because when I was on Twitch, one of my viewers, Coop, actually said, I have never seen that before in my game. You should really do these videos where you talk about like swatches that people might have forgotten about. And this piece right here, it came with base game, which means even if you have Island Living or if you have Seasons and like the little kiddie pool that comes with it, you can have them wear this and oh, Oh my goodness, there's one with like mermaid scales variations. There's a little ice cream one. This little whale one is so stinking cute. There's a polar bear with a little ice lolly. And then there is a little tie dye version. A little sunsuit, a little swimsuit, wetsuit. And finally, we got Krabby. I have never seen this swatch in my entire life. I don't particularly like the asset. I don't think I will use it all that often, even though I now know it exists. It is base game. I'm assuming they made these 
as like a little birthday outfit maybe for your like toddlers to wear when they are having a birthday party. I do really like that they added a crab on and also this like surprised fish. I don't know why I love it, but I do. I think it's a really cute usage of different art in The Sims 4. Like look at this space one. I just think this would be so much more usable if it didn't have this weird sash necklace with the stars on it. And finally, we're getting there, I promise. We have this little collarless shirt again for the kid sims, but this koi fish one is absolutely so, so cute. This also is available for toddlers. A lot of the stuff that I talk about for infants is available for toddlers because they basically just size down a lot of the toddler stuff. These are the matching alien PJs that I mentioned. This little hoodie has different logos. I love the strawberry one. But there's also a little whale butt, even though it is actually base game. I couldn't mention infants without talking about nifty knitting. This will only be available to you if you have nifty knitting, but I absolutely love the frog versions of this little onesie. And then there's also like the one where the sim has clearly messed up the knitting. A work of art, if you ask me. If you are anything like me, you probably use this an awful lot. It came with growing together. It's a little onesie, but my favorite swatches are these little oranges. It kind of matches the t-shirt that we look through for toddlers. There's also a shark version as well, if your kid sims are like into water. Same again with these dungarees. Go to the bottom swatches and you'll find way more interesting ones. Weirdly, they have that toddler outfit without the necklace. This also came with base game, which is shocking. I always assumed that this was growing together, but the little sunflower version of this pinafore is so flipping sweet. I wish that toddlers had this pinafore. I promise I'm gonna wrap this video up ASAP, but whilst I was on stream the other day, I know I've already done one of these videos going over all the adult stuff. I came across this, which I had never seen in my game. It's from Snowy Escape. It's just this plain green jacket over here, but then actually once you get to this slot right here, it's this swatch with this incredible graphic on the back. And it comes in three different colors with like different colors of the art. And then you have these matching trousers with it. And also these little Discover University boots. I never really use them because of the black swatch. Also not a massive fan of like the plaid around the top of them, but they actually come in some really cute colors and I will definitely be using them more. And again, I've been recording for an hour and 15 minutes when it comes to a Create a Sim Secret Swatches overview. Here's hoping I can edit as well as the last one. I cannot believe these videos take me so long, but that's what I mean. I just love discussing Create a Sim and I genuinely think that's shown by how much I can talk about it. So hopefully this video was just as helpful as the original. And just like the original, if you feel like there's anything in Create a Sim that you personally struggle with, that you would like a guide for, that you would like reminding of, definitely leave your suggestions in the comments down below. Someone commented last time on a all Create a Sim sliders. I actually have a video for that, which I will link. I'm always down to talk about Create a Sim. I appreciate you all so much for the love on these types of videos. It's really cool that I get to record something that I love so much and then see you guys really appreciate it. So I cannot thank you enough. Subscribe if you aren't already. Give this video a thumbs up and I will speak to you all in my next one. Bye now.